Things you can do with the Boss GT1. This is my first day with it. I'm having a lot of fun learning different things about it. I pretty much know the main brain since I have a GT100 and I've had that for many years, but I needed something smaller for certain things, um, for certain gigs. And my other pedal board is just huge and I just wanted something lighter, something that I was familiar with too. But I've been playing with this thing for probably about eight hours. It's on its second set of batteries. The first set of batteries, I swear, lasted a about six to seven hours it, it comes with batteries it comes with cheap batteries and everything is like as everything that comes with batteries always comes with cheap batteries but it still lasted for a long time i do have an ac adapter on order because that would be more convenient so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to uh create a pitch shifting patch for drop tune songs but i'm going to show you a different trick and i'm going to a b them and see which one we like better. I'm going to start with the very first uh, patch it comes with uh, on U01. This is the high gain stack. Just going to leave it like that. So let's go inside memory edit and effects one. We're going to go to pitch shifter and let's turn it on. And we enter. And we're going to take the direct level completely down. We want no feedback and we want no pre-delay. So we don't need a fine tune either. Let's keep everything flat. Effects level 100%. Pitch. Now right off the bat you can hear it shimmer. Let's exit out of the effect and let's place it after our amplifier and see if that clears it up a little bit. It does not. You can still hear a shimmer to it. And it actually sounded like it changed the uh, tone of the amp a little bit. Yeah, it took all the warmth out of, out of the amp. Now, when you're, when you're using the harmonizer, I recommend putting that after the amplifier. That will make your harmonies really clean, but when you're when you're doing a, 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 a drop pitch sound, like if you wanna play like Seven Dust songs or certain, uh, certain Linkin Park tunes or anything that's tuned down to B with a seven string. This is one way to do it. Uh, I, I should also mention that I'm running this directly into the effects return of a PV Bandit. With the output set to JC120 return, which for me, I think it feels and sounds really damn good. As opposed to running it to a, the, the combo return. <laughs> seems to be my favorite sound it also has settings if you want to run if you want to run it in in front you go into your clean channel there's an option to, to go uh, 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 it says combo amp it sounds good but I'm not I was I was never crazy about running a preamp directly into a preamp I like to run it directly into the power amp so the the tone itself is warmer it's cleaner it sounds better so there's that. So we are now going to assign, let's go back in memory edit and we're going to move the cursor all the way to assign the down button to FX1. So that we can A, B our creation in a little bit. Okay. Let's exit about out of that. Turn it off. There's our amp signal. Now let's go back in here. I'm going to show you this other trick that I just figured out. We're going to go to the pedal. I'm going to turn it on. The pedal's now on, which is this thing. Let's enter the pedal and we're going to change it from all the crybabies to pedal bend, which is your whammy. 
let's see, pedal position. Try to remember how I did this. Pitch is we're gonna go down. We're gonna go down a fifth. Pedal position at 100. Already you can hear it not shimmering. The, the pitch tracking is pretty damn smooth. And you can use the, the pedal, the uh, built-in ex expression pedal. You can do that to it. So let's go back to the chain and we're gonna go over to, let's assign this to the up, the up button, enter. I, th I, th I think we can do this. Uh, pre FX1, overdrive, preamp, FX2, delay, reverb, pedal effects, yes. Moment, no, we don't want it to be momentary. We want to be able to toggle it. That's another thing. You can use this as a toggle switch, on, off, or momentary switch, on, off. Exits. Let's go back to the main screen. You should be able to see the whole thing by now. When I was talking about the expression pedal, I'm not sure if it was on the screen or not. Now we're going to A, B are two different pitch shifters. Pitch shifter number one, which is in effects one. No, I have that set for toggle, hold on. Memory, uh, down button, enter, moment, no, toggle. Eggs back out again, okay. Single notes kind of have this kind of this little shimmery sound to it, and chords. Even though it does track chords, it's just got the shimmer to it. So now we put on the whammy. I think I'm down another step, aren't I? Let's fix that real quick. <laughs> Memory in, and then we were over at pedal, enter, yeah. Yep, that's at six, that should be at five. It's really smooth. We just A-B'd the two pitch shifting uh, facets of the Boss GT1. And uh, I believe I have come to the conclusion that the one that's in the whammy is a lot better and smoother than the one in the FX1 and F FX2 buttons known as pitch shifter. So if you're going to do anything like that, playing detune songs and drop tune songs, use the one that is in the FX pedal. The pedal. Let's enter the pedal one more time. It's pedal bend. It's pedal bend. Use the one in pedal bend 
not the not the pitch shifter in FX1 and FX2. I hope that helped you guys out a lot. Thanks for thanks for watching. These are things you can do with the Boss GT1. See you next time.